Alice here from Hip Footy Mom. Today we are making one of my favorite Korean food dishes, chapche. The base of chapche noodles starts with the sweet potato glass noodles. You can find these at any Asian market or Korean grocery store. We've already cooked the sweet potato glass noodles. You literally just put them in a pot of boiling water. They only need about three minutes to cook. Before we add these to the pot, we are going to drizzle these lightly with some sesame oil, and that's just so that the noodles don't stick together. The other great thing about chapcha is that you are incorporating so many fresh ingredients, spinach, carrots, bell peppers, and we are also going to add Korean bulgogi. This is Korean beef that I've marinated. I will leave the link to the marinade recipe below, but we're gonna add this in, it's gonna be delicious. We are going to heat up our big pot, and you wanna bring it to about medium high. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and now we wanna saute um, our onions. This is one whole onion, and we have about three cloves of fresh garlic minced. So you just wanna mix together the onions and the garlic. My kids love chapcha. It's one of the easiest Korean food recipes to make. All right, so now we're gonna add in our pulgogi. Again, this is marinated beef. So you wanna stir together your pulgogi and your onions until the pulgogi is cooked all the way through. I wish you guys could smell this. I love the smell of pulgogi and the garlic. So good. Reminds me of my mother's kitchen when I was little. Now we're going to add in our vegetables. This is about three carrots, uh, peeled and julienned. We're gonna add in some fresh yellow bell peppers. We're gonna also add in some red bell peppers and orange bell peppers. I love bell peppers and then I also love all the color that it adds to this dish. Now we're gonna add in a teaspoon of white sugar. The sugar just adds a nice sweetness to kind of balance everything out because later we're gonna be adding a lot of saltier ingredients. Now we're gonna add in our spinach. And some chapcha recipes that you'll see online cook the spinach beforehand. I really don't think it's necessary, so I just add the fresh spinach directly into the pot. So now we're gonna add in our cooked sweet potato glass noodles. We're gonna add in one teaspoon of fish sauce. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of sesame oil, five tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. At this point, you can turn your heat down to um, a medium low or even low, because now you're basically just wanting to mix everything together. And now we plate. So get a nice, nice scoop of your noodles. Make sure you get all the good stuff. And before I serve, I do like to Sprinkle on some sesame seeds and some freshly diced green onions. And there you have it, homemade chop chat. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, forget it. <laughs>